Hey, Hazel. Hey, Dan. Yeah, when you talk about an iconic New York City backdrop, literally look no further than Harlem with influences and iconic figures that span every genre and every industry. There is so much to celebrate. And like you guys mentioned, that is exactly what's going to be going down right here this weekend as we embark on the 48th annual Harlem Week. I'm here with the face of Harlem Week, right? This is Robin <laughs> Bell Stevens. She is the director of Jazzmobile yes. as well as the board member, mm -hmm. the head of the Greater Chamber of Commerce for Harlem. Great. This year is a huge year for you guys, 48th Great. annual. Your theme is inspire, impact, and legacy. What does that mean to you? So I think that the words themselves have such powerful meaning for sure. But in, from my own personal perspective, in terms of what we're doing with Harlem Week, it gives us an opportunity to reach out to the community and, and show to them exactly the importance Harlem Week has, the importance that the Chamber has on this community, and then how we can help impact them so that they too can benefit and feel all that the, the theme is putting out there to, to mean to everyone. And yeah, so I think that every year we have a different theme, but it's always about the underlying theme is about empowerment of the black people of our community. Yes. That's think, always the theme. When you think about Harlem and how multi textured, multicultural it yes. is, there is so much to experience, so much to learn, so much to do. So you've you've kind of condensed everything into ten days of an ultimate experience. What can everybody take away? Well, there are going to be lots of experiences that they can have, and happily, most of them this year are mm -hmm. going to be live and in person, yes. although there will be some virtual. But we're going to kick it off, for example, literally with running. So on the 12th, which is the, uh, I'm sorry, the 13th, mm -hmm. is the event that I want to talk about right now, yes. which is the Percy Sutton Harlem 5K run. Yes. It is obviously named after the phenomenal uh, Percy Sutton, who was such an impact on not only the Harlem community, but the New York City community, and dare I say, the nation and the world and beyond. Mm -hmm. So that certainly is going to be important. And later on that day, on the 13th, mm -hmm. we're going to be in Central Park with the Central Park Conservancy as we present Great Jazz on the Great Hill. Yes. And that is an event that cannot be missed. It's wonderful for the entire family. It starts at 4 o'clock. The music mm -hmm. ends at 7. There will be three amazing acts of vocalist Tammy McCann the incomparable Antonio Hart and his quartet. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of your viewers may know the name Jimmy Heath. Yes. He was a National Endowment for the Arts Jazz Master, co-founder of Jazzmobile. He passed away a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time that his band is coming together again. Mm -hmm. So it'll be the premiere of the Jimmy Heath Legacy Band. Wow, a beautiful experience. I know music yes. is so near and dear to you. Mm. Thank you, Robin. Thank you so much for all the work you do. Uh, and guys, speaking of music, in the 10 o'clock hour, we're going to be talking to a band director who's going to be taking the stage this weekend. But once again, visit HarlemWeek.com. Uh, as Robin mentioned, this is in person and virtual. So much to see and do. And better than anything else, it is free. You can't beat that with a stick. Dan Hazel, back to you.